Some years ago, there was a terrible terrorist incident. A journalist, a Jewish journalist by the name of Daniel Pearl was abducted and ultimately killed by terrorists. But before he died, he publicly proclaimed, I am Jewish. And this was done over television before his gruesome killing. And a young girl for her bat mitzvah celebration in America decided to gather together essays from very well-known Jews across the world speaking about what it means to them to be Jewish. And she called the book, I Am Jewish, in honor of the late Daniel Pearl. And included in that book was a very beautiful essay by the former chief rabbi of Israel, Rabbi Yisrael Meir Lau. And he alluded to something very interesting, and it has a connection to this week's parasha. Moshe has to flee Egypt. He has killed an Egyptian, his life hangs in the balance, and he runs to a place called Midian. And there in Midian he comes to a well, and he encounters the seven daughters of Yitro, and they are being persecuted, oppressed by a group of shepherds. He chases these shepherds away, and he assists the shepherdesses in giving their flock water to drink. They go back home, and their father Yitro says, How did you manage to come home so early tonight? And they said, Ish Mitzri, an Egyptian man, saved us from the hands of the shepherds. The question, of course, is why did they refer to Moshe as an Ish Mitzri, an Egyptian man? Well, the simple understanding is that Moshe, although he was a Hebrew, looked like an Egyptian. He was born in Egypt, he spoke Egyptian, he was wearing Egyptian clothing. But the difficulty here is, why wasn't he described as an Ish Ivri, as a Hebrew man? He should, have, he should have put forward the fact that he was a Jew, that he was a Hebrew. But he gave the impression that he was a Mitzri, an Egyptian. And because of this, the Midrash tells us something quite astounding that he didn't merit to be buried in the land of Israel. Because he didn't identify himself as a Ivri, as a Hebrew, he lost that right. This can be contrasted to Joseph. That although Joseph lived for most of his life in Egypt, he left instructions that he was to be buried in the land of Israel. Moshe took his body out of the river Nile where it had been buried, and he carried it with him into the wilderness all the way until ultimately the Jews buried Yosef in the land of Israel. Well, what is the difference? Why is it that Moshe was not even buried in the land of Israel, whereas Yosef, who lived most of his life in Egypt, merited to be buried in the land of Israel? And the reason that the Midrash gives is that when the chips were down, Yosef did not hide his identity. He said, I was a Hebrew. When he was in jail, and he came across the butler and the baker, he said to them, I have been stolen from the land of the Hebrews. I've been put in this prison for no reason whatsoever. Please, when you get out of here, mention me to Pharaoh. Even in a very desperate situation where perhaps most of us wouldn't have admitted that we were Jewish, but Joseph admitted that he was Jewish. Moses was not able to do this. And Rabbi Lau says a similar thing about the prophet Jonah. Jonah was given a prophecy which he didn't want to deliver. So he fled and he went onto a ship. And when he was on that ship, God created a terrible storm. And the captain of the ship came down and said to Jonah, Who are you? What do you do? And he said, I am an Ivri. I am a Jew. And this storm is because of me. Even when the chips were down, he admitted that I am a Jew. And this is exactly what Daniel Pearl did. He was a secular man. He wasn't connected to Judaism. There was no need for him to say that I was Jewish. But at the last minute of his life, he admitted, I am a Jew. And therefore, the Sefer HaChassidim, a famous work of one of the early German pietists, tells us the following halakha, fascinating halakha, that if we're in a situation and people are speaking about us and they think that we aren't Jewish, it is a mitzvah for us to acknowledge the fact that Ivri Anochi, I am a Jew. Moses wasn't able to do that, and he lost the right to be buried in the land of Israel, whereas Joseph and Jonah did that, and therefore they are remembered for all time. So even when things are difficult, even when things are hard, we are to remember, Anochi, Evri, I am a Jew. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.